Greetings. Myself is Raj Kapoor. I've been a physician for 40 plus years. And most recently we have innovated something wonderful for telemedicine. Our corporation is called Rejuven Corporation. The word comes from rejuvenation. It's a seed of health innovation. And we empower healthcare professionals at any point of care. And we use the three pillars, health, mobile, and cloud. And interestingly, this is a doctor's driven innovation. It's a complete telemedicine solution because at the point of care, we do the data acquisition with the, from the patient interface that we have developed different sensors. And then we put it in the health, mobile, and cloud. And on the other end, our servers do analytics for the physician. So it's a complete solution right from the point of care to the physician. Most of the companies I see here is telecommunication. We are telemedicine. This is our cardio sleeve. It does heart murmur, heart rhythm, and heart failure. And this is a device which fits in a, any analog stethoscope that I'm wearing one. As you can see, and it interposes between the head and the tube of the stethoscope. And when a doctor or any clinician examines a patient, it will collect the data for the heart sound, and do a 3D EKG, and because they are synchronized signals, it will calculate the ejection fraction and tell the doctor or the clinician instantly that the patient is in heart failure or no heart failure. This is a major, major breakthrough to prevent readmissions for heart failure because immediate validation. So we developed an ecosystem for this, cardio sleeve as the primary device, and we added vital signs, sonogram, spirometry, blood glucose, weighing scale to the platform, and it's called Intelligent Integrated Diagnostic Telemedicine Platform, or I2DTX. It comes in three form factors. It can be on the wall in the physician's office. It can be in a card for a nursing home or a hospital or it can be in a bag, clinic in a bag, for a home health nurse, or for EMT, or for somebody doing point of care and rescue for a catastrophe, or it can be used in a wilderness, or even in the airlines. The other platform we have is Intelligent Integrated Patient Management Platform, which is a patch, and it is to prevent bed sores, falls, and bed exits in a nursing home, and it is also going to be a cardiac monitor 24-7. So most of the bed sort sensors are put on the bed. We don't monitor the bed, we monitor the patient. Because many times the patient does bed sores on a wheelchair. And how would it put a sensor from a bed to the wheelchair? So we can monitor even on the wheelchair. Position has to be changed every 15 minutes on a wheelchair to prevent bed sore. And this platform will alarm the nurse to change the position of the patient and prevent bed sores. There are four patients die every hour from bed sore infection, which is more than skin cancer, which is three per hour. And the litigation is $2 billion a year. Patient has a cardiac arrest, comes to the hospital, becomes a vegetative state, gets a bed sore. He doesn't die of heart failure. He dies of bed sore. So the litigation is against hospitals, nursing homes, nurses, doctors, and there is no reimbursement for bed sore from Medicare or Medicaid. So at least we are looking at the need for preventing bed sores and helping these patients. Our I2DTX can be used for telemedicine. It is for screenings, clinics, offices, hospitals, nursing homes, dentists, EMT, veterinarians, transportation, and even for the army. It is any patient, any time, any place. For example, a patient has shortness of breath and cannot verbalize. The EMT is called, so they have no history. They put the card in sleeve, they know right away the patient is heart failure. And where it can save time, it can save lives instantly. In an emergency room, it can do emergency severity index to triage the patients. It will tell you right away. The vital sign will be interpreted and you can stratify the patient and triage the patient. If the vital signs are showing red, 
the doctor has to see the patient immediately. If it is orange, the patient can wait. And that if it is green, then the nurse can attend to the patient. So it's a green, orange, and red. It's an immediate stratification for the emergency severity index with our devices. It's very interesting that in a hospital, if a patient gets bad, and they take time to transfer the patient to intensive care, the mortality is very high. And our vital signs can immediately tell you the patient has to be transferred to intensive care without asking a doctor. And it can save mortality and morbidity of patients inside the hospital itself. Then this is for long-term care, a home health nurse can go to the home and she can do complete physical exam and complete diagnosis and tell the physician in his office and he can make intelligent decisions. In a physician's office, as you know that there is a penalty for readmission for heart failure within 30 days, Medicare will not reimburse and will penalize the hospital and the doctor. And with this ejection fraction that we have on the cardio sleeve, we can prevent readmissions, we can manage the patients before they get bad at home. And even the, before discharge, the doctor has the confidence to check the heart failure. What's happening is you're not allowed to do echocardiogram on a daily basis. You're only allowed once in three months or six months. Here, you, in between the two echocardiograms, you can monitor the patient very effectively. There are patients who present with irregular heartbeat of atrial fibrillation, and the first time they present is in the emergency room with a stroke, because the patient may have no symptoms at all. Totally silent, and they come with a stroke. And once you have atrial fibrillation, the chance of stroke is five times. And when you do a physical exam, a nurse examining or somebody examining, the sensitivity of physical exam is only 66% to find out somebody in atrial fibrillation. With our cardiac sleeve, the sensitivity is 99%. So it is going to prevent strokes from happening <clears throat> and will not miss a diagnosis. In an <clears throat> ordinary scenario, there are a lot of drugs like erythromycin, like anticonvulsants, antidepressants. They cause sudden death. And they are not reported because the doctor is not capable of knowing the QT interval on the EKG before prescribing those drugs. And they cause cardiac arrhythmias. So let me give you a scenario. Mr. X calls me on the phone, Doc, I have a sore throat. I, unknowingly, I prescribe him erythromycin, which is very routine. And after three days, he's found dead. Well, he must have had a heart attack. That's a safe assumption. But in fact, he may have died of prolonged QT interval, which was not checked on the EKG. So in this, when a physician is examining any patient in the office, he will get the QT interval regardless whether he does EKG or doesn't do EKG. And it's for free. And this will alert him not to prescribe a certain medication for a certain patient. This is proactive and preventive medicine. It will help avoid malpractice. And these are our consumer health products. Ifebris is for child development. Regiva is for overall health and stress and aging and boost energy. This is for the consumer. This is for the consumer. And Jabril, this is the 21st century device we have made, you put two fingers and you get six vital signs in 60 seconds. And this you can have in your keychain. And it will stratify and it will tell you whether your vital signs are normal, abnormal, or emergency. This is for the consumer. And this is the last one, the security for the loved ones. It will give the fault detection. The patient doesn't have to press any button. It will be an automatic text messaging to the family. Our motto is TLC, Tender Loving Care, Save Time, Save Lives, and Save Costs. I thank you for your attention.